Hey, what's up? Zach from Wave Riders 14. And if you didn't notice, I have a new background. And also, if you didn't notice, that means you're probably not subscribed, so you haven't seen my other backgrounds. In which case, you should subscribe, so you'll know when I change backgrounds. I mean, it also helps me a little, because, you know, it gives me another subscriber, but it mainly helps you. So, anyway, new background, and it kind of looks similar to this, except for the knockoff Halo font. I couldn't find an, I couldn't find the official Halo font. And so that, this is what we're going to be making right here. But the first thing to do is get this knockoff Halo font. So I'm going to you go here, link in the description, and just click download this font. Download file. And then save it to wherever you save it to. And it downloaded that quickly. So you're going to need like a like WinRAR to extract the files. I'll put a dis uh, link in the description for that. Of course, not responding. Just when I need it to respond. It always happens. Okay, so it's finally responding again. So again, right click, extract files, okay. And then you're just gonna get a folder. So I'm gonna open that, and then you get this. So you're gonna wanna go to computer, C drive, windows, fonts. Just drag it in. Doesn't matter where you drag it, it'll automatically alphabetize it. And sure, I'll replace it. Why not? So, I got it. That's how you just download that. Pretty easy. Okay, so here we are in After Effects, and this is where we're going to make the title. So you see here, this is the end result. So we're just going to create a new composition. Make sure it is... So I just use 720. And this is how easy it is. Copy it all paste we're done it's really just that easy okay no but seriously you see this it's only six layers that's how that's really how easy it is so for real this time new comp and we're just going to create two solids one that is black and one that is kind of a grayish color and I have this just as a reference. So just, uh, you can, I just googled Halo Reach title. But we're just going to rename these just so we know. Background and solid line. <coughs> so with the solid line selected, we're just going to shrink this in. Sure. Right there looks fine. Of course, this is just a quick little thing to demonstrate what I'm doing. Okay, right there is even better. Alright, and then we are going to create a text layer. And this is just going to be my name. Definitely don't want that, so we're just going to go to the Halo. Scroll up, find it, there it is. Alright. And sure, we'll just leave it white for now. We're just going to scale it up. We can also just move this to the middle. This is the pan behind tool. Just so that whenever you scale it up now, it, it scales up by this point. So we can turn this on, the proportional grid, 
just so you can center things a little better. It actually comes in handy really good. And I'm just gonna okay. Move this back to the middle. Alright, that's good enough. And then we're just going to create another text. And this is going to be Wave Riders 14. And we're just going to scale. We'll make it like kind of tall, but not as wide. And this I used, this font I found. Vrinda. Vrinda. I don't even know what it is. Alright, and then you see here, this is four letters, this is five letters, but it's still the same uh, length. But these are still, these aren't like obscured letters. So you can probably go here with it. And right here, this is the spacing between the letters. So it keeps the normal length but it the spacing between them increases and it goes up to a thousand and that's where I put it so we can just kinda make this these line up and just kinda shrink this down so that's what it's looking like let me bring these up a little and for the text layers I created I went to generate ramp and I did like there and there and um, I just changed the colors And then this one, just make it a little darker. And if you need to, you can just move this around or just change those, whatever. I mean, we might not want it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright. And then we're just going to do the same thing with the Wave Riders 14 ramp. Just move it to here and here and again you can just refer back to this for whatever colors you think oh dang it we already did that And it looks like it kind of fades off a little more here than up here, but I think I might have done it a little too much. Because right here, this is lighter than this for the most part. Let me bring this down a little bit. Alright, so those are done. Now we're going to create a new solid black or whatever matches your background. Whatever color you made your background that's what color it has to be so we're gonna create use the rectangle tool and select a box then we're gonna click on the mask and hit F for the feather and choose no it stays add and we just wanna feather it And yeah, do what I did, move it above the solid line after you draw in the box. And that looks pretty good. You make you just want to make it end where the letters end. And then we're going to turn this into a 3D layer. Hit Control D or go up here to edit duplicate. And go to the rotate tool and click on the Y axis and if you hold shift it'll jump 
and that is it. I mean, just duplicating it and moving it over is easier than trying to match it. So this was the left feather. That's what I call it. Or you can call it like left mask or whatever you want. And um, that is pretty much it. Right there, that's the final product. Looks pretty good. And actually, now that I remember, um, with the background selected, you can go to effect ramp. And yeah, it looks a little weird at first, but we're going to turn it into a radial ramp. Move this point, the starting point, down here. And move this up a little. Now we're just going to make the start color kind of a grayish, a dark gray, and the end black. So now the mask faded away. You can't notice it. Or you can just bring this down a little. Maybe move this up some. Just to, if you don't want your background to be completely plain and boring, you just have a little more action going on back there. By the way, if you want to know how to do that, you just click like this, this is what I want, and hit the tilde button. It's above the tab button, which is above the caps lock button. That's the little squiggly line. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. This has been Wave Riders 14, and I'll see you next time.